left pad an 11 line piece of code broke the internet and just recently had a second incident that involves me so i might have made a mistake where i thought i could program a faster version of left pad live and the results uh were not faster it goes to here left pad with this one okay so it looks like it's looked like mine is slower Ooh. You hate to see it. At first, it inspired a meme. Then Ember Hex made an actually fast version. Then the creator of Crab Lang threw his hat in the ring. Even faster than Ember's and mine is still so slow. A renaissance of left pad happened and other people were joining in. And then a competition was born. Who had the fastest left pad? Submissions were made. More submissions were made, then corrected. And meanwhile, I was hating life on YouTube. I'm officially cured of imposter syndrome. Oh, ooh, too spicy. Even Stack Overflow had their own bespoke solution and it was recursive. Not only that, but there's also a native left pad solution provided in modern JavaScript. And we need to figure out which left pad is the fastest and find out do micro benchmarks lie? Yes, they do. So this competition has been about micro benchmarks, but here's the thing is that some of you might not even know what micro benchmarks are. Well, they're as simple as this. You write a function you wish to test, you run it a bunch of times, taking a bunch of time differentials, and you see which function performs better than the other. You have different implementations, and you hope one of them is gonna perform way faster. Then you run it a whole bunch, and you see that some of them are much slower, say mine or the Stack Overflow one, and some of them are way faster, like Ember's or the native one or the special case one that I also have in a right. And then you call that a day, right? You say, hey, my code is fast. Well, here's the deal. It's actually not fast. You actually don't even know if they're fast. In fact, you just might be lied to. But why? Well, first off, you're probably running them on your computer, which if I just go P grep node, I don't even know how I have that. Dude, I must have a Bitcoin miner on my machine. I do have Zig running. Hey, calm down, ladies and arch users, okay? I'm taken. Tests also often hide implementation details such as garbage collection. When you run these micro benchmarks, they don't necessarily trigger all the things that could happen when you're running in production. And finally, it depends on what you're actually doing in your function. The thing about JavaScript is that strings aren't strings, they're actually rope data structures. And there's a lot of optimizations around concatenation and appending with a heavier penalization of iterating over each character. So that means if we're just appending a bunch of strings together, it may look good on paper, but when you actually use the string to do something, say send it across the internet or print it out, it has to iterate over a more complicated structure to get that string back out. So you pay none of the cost of using your string, you only pay the cost of producing it, which could be cheaper, thus giving you misleading results. So how do we determine which left pad is actually faster? Well, first I created a server, set up Apache benchmark script, and ensure proper sleep between each and manually execute garbage collection on the server if no requests have happened within one second. Send 50 million requests that took about 36 hours to complete. I'd personally like to thank Linode for giving me an instance to run this on and not shutting me down after 50 million requests. <laughs> Thanks, Andrew. Create a parser to parse the Apache benchmark results and calculate the average of medians. Import results into Google Spreadsheets. Charts. Before we dive into the charts, let me kind of explain what the data is you're looking at. So each one of these points is the average of the median. So what I did is I do like 12 and a half thousand requests and I take the median time of that. And then I do it again and I do it again and I do it again. And after a bunch of those requests, I'd have a several amount of medians. And then I take the average of those. So each one of these represents somewhere between 50 to 100,000 requests each. And then of course down here, I just simply summed all those numbers across every size of request. And then I ordered these columns according to who had the largest sum. All right, so this chart's probably the most important chart to look at it is the summed of the median averages. On the Y axis, we have milliseconds. And on the X axis, we have the different left pad summed averages of the medians. So worst place came in as the stack overflow tail recursive version, which I'm a bit surprised by. Then came left pad commanding a strong second worst place. Then look at this. My version was faster. Okay, so after all of the jokes and the mean YouTube comments, I'm talking about you, Tom. It hurt. 
But the fastest really came down to left pad Travi and native. They are really within a margin of error of each other. So what is the takeaway of this? The takeaway is use native methods. They're way better. You don't have to be clever. You don't have to write code that looks like that. Whatever the, what is this? And the best part is, is that as new techniques come out, as things happen over time, you don't have to make these weird changes to your code where you did these weird incantations to figure out what code's actually faster than the other code. Instead, you know the platform is motivated to make a fast product. So stick with syntax or vendor implemented options where possible, and you will mostly get the best performance. But if you ever feel spicy and you want to do power of two string concatenation and bit shifting, well, go ahead, give it a try. Which is funny because that's actually how string.repeat works is power of two string concatenation and bit shifting in v8 i don't i don't i have no idea why that's fast i literally have no idea hey if you like this press the like button press subscribe come on give me some signals okay if you want more of this send me the signals make comments do all the stupid things you know you're supposed to do already okay because youtube highly favors that so if you don't do it it makes me feel like this is a failure and then i feel like a failure and then my wife thinks i'm a failure don't do it to the wife of jen this is for you travi